Welcome to my channel, Abby's Big Ideas. I went to my local antique store and found this really cool antique window. So I'm here at my favorite antique store, Paramount Antiques, and you guys, they had exactly what I was looking for, a window. And y'all, it was only $10. I went in the store and was like, hey, I need a, a window without panes, and this is what I need, and this is the size I need, and they had it exactly what I needed, and it was on sale. Major score, I'm so excited to show you what I'm gonna do with this window. Today I'm going to show you how I'll use this window to make a really cool decoration for my new coffee bar. And stay tuned to see how we'll transform this window into the Central Perk Coffee Shop window decoration. If you're a fan of Friends, then you'll remember the iconic Central Perk sign that was always seen in the window of the coffee shop. So I actually purchased on Amazon this vinyl Central Perk logo and we are going to apply this to the window. But we're not gonna stop there because I have some other fun ideas. On television, set designers use all kinds of creative tricks to make things look more realistic and to add depth. And so that's what we're going to do today with our project. I purchased this cool brick paper, which is actually an educational product. It's used for bulletin boards, for teachers to decorate their bulletin boards. It was $5 at Hobby Lobby, but I had a 40% off coupon, so I got it for really cheap. And we are going to use this paper to create a sense of depth, to make it look like there are actually brick buildings on the other side of our window. But before we get to any of the fun part, we kind of need to clean this up. It's really dirty and it needs some cleanup and my husband has kindly offered to help me clean it up and also he's gonna put some hooks on it so that we can hang it when we're ready. board that's been cut to the size of the window. It will need to fit on the back of the window and we're going to cover it with our brick paper. I'll be using Craft Bond Spray Adhesive. Okay, so now the paper is stuck on and it looks really cool, y'all. So next we just need to, it's, it's actually glue, so next we just need to basically wrap this like we're wrapping a present and fold in the edges and I'm going to secure it just with some mailing tape. to the back of our window frame. Okay, we are ready to put this on the window. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it'll look great. This is just basically a big giant sticker. It's a vinyl, it's made to go on walls, but I'm pretty sure it'll go just fine on this glass. So here we go.
Okay, y'all. I got the sticky part, I'm gonna line it up with the brick. And try to get it really straight. Supposedly it's repositionable if I screw up, but hopefully I won't. Okay, you guys, here's the final product. I think it looks amazing. It's just like the Central Park sign on the TV show, friends. And I love the brick behind there. There's about a half inch or so in between the glass and the brick, and it really gives it that nice sense of depth, just like on TV. Hey, do me a favor and please subscribe to my new channel, and I hope that you'll come back to watch more videos. Also, if you want to see my video with the whole coffee bar that looks like Central Perk right here in my house, be sure to check out that video. I will be linking it down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!